Hey guys, Psalm 119 is powerful. And it says in verse 86, all your commandments are faithful. All your words are trustworthy. All your wisdom is reliable. And he says, they have persecuted me with a lie. Help me. This is in a series here where the psalmist is, is expressing, hey, I'm having some struggles with some people issues, but God, I, I'm going to go with your word. And he says over and over again about it. He says, um, in verse 83, he says, I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, but I do not forget your word. How many are the days of your servant? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the day when you will execute judgment on those who are persecuting me. Uh, the arrogant have dug pits for me, it says. Men who are not in accord with your law. Uh, all your commandments are faithful. They have persecuted me with a lie. Help me. You know, he's going back and forth on the the reality of his of his circumstances and the reality and reliability of God's promises. And he's saying, your promises are going to win out every time. I mean, this is what the circumstances look like, but God, I'm a hardcore rock solid believer and I believe in your promises. So you might feel like a wine skin in the smoke, which means you're puckered up and chapped and feel like you're depleted and dry spiritually. He came to give living water, abundant life. That's the Holy Spirit who can rehydrate and replenish you. I just had lunch with my son in a restaurant and the waitress made sure our water glass was full. You know, it'd go down just a half an inch, fill it back up, an inch, fill it back up. I mean, it never went to half, you know, and I, I looked up at her and I said, you're, you're keeping us hydrated. And she didn't, she ignored me, but I was expressing thanks, you know, and I'm telling you, even if you feel like dried up, he, he brings rivers in the desert. I have found that to be the case. People are talking about revival. And in my setting, in my circles, it tends to be long meetings, people yelling, running around, emotional stuff. That's what they think a revival is. But a revival can be a lot of things. It could be a broken person being mended. It could be a person out of work getting a job. It could be a, a struggling marriage regaining vibrancy. It could be estrangement from a kid, a, a, an adult kid, and having a restoration in that relationship. It could be God, a reviving of God coming in on your job and giving you favor, inexplicable favor, with people that don't even like you, that don't even get you. You know, God is so faithful. and says here in Psalm 119, verse 38, you have commanded your testimonies in righteousness and exceeding faithfulness. His commandments are faithful. And again, verse 86, all your commandments are faithful. What is faithful? Good question, because there's not a lot of faithfulness in today's world. There's not a lot of loyalty. There's not a lot of, you know, it says in another verse, many a man proclaims his loyalty, but a faithful man, who can find? Paul the Apostle had named a lot of co-workers that worked with him that came and went, came and went, came and went. Yet there was there were just a handful, Epaphroditus, Epaphras, Timothy mainly, even Titus left and Crescens and Demas, people peeled off. Uh, it, there's just not a lot of faithfulness in this world. Um, but God is faithful. He is, and I, I quote this verse all the time, he is faithful to a thousand generations. And that means a lot because we're in our generation right now. And I am, it's handy to know that God is faithful right now in whatever situation we're facing. I know a man and his wife and kids, they, they pioneered a church in another country, built a beautiful building. More importantly, they built a wonderful church family. And it's been disrupted by a lot of society's issues. 
but I've been watching them and they just keep tapping into God's faithfulness. And it's such a testimony, such an example. It, it, it's like they're undaunted. You don't hear them whining. You don't hear, they're not projecting like they're victims. They're not overwhelmed because they've developed trust in God's faithfulness. Let me tell you, it'll protect you from self-pity. It'll protect you from becoming bitter. It'll help you to stay in the spirit. And, 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 and all of his commandments, all of his promises are to be trusted. So man, pour through the Bible and its pages, study the word, spend time with God, feed on it, let it minister to you, let it satisfy your soul, stay in the word. God bless you.